everybody how are you all well today my guest is the most gorgeous girl beautiful person in and out who i really love her a lot i i don't know i admire her so much she is so inspiring a lot of people and full of positive energy and it's nobody else other than the beautiful gorgeous Pradayani with me. <laughs> Hi. Hi Sadhu, how are you? Fantastic. Thank you very much for having me here. It is uh, really You're sweet so of you. You're so beautiful in and, and out. And so are you. Please. I can't say that enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. Who is Pradayani according to you? How do you describe her? <laughs> Good question. You know, so I've been reading my philosophical books and I see the first question, the, or rather the moment you question yourself, who am I, is where your spiritual journey begins. So putting that aside, because if I were to answer that, then obviously I am nobody. I am what you are and you know, we're all one. But um, to put it in a worldly way, um, I have been known here in the city as a model, in Chennai city as a model. I work as an influencer right now and my spiritual path has really um, started in the past couple of years and is getting strong and I am, I am actually exploring and trying new ways to balance all the things that I love and enjoy doing. How did you become like this? Did any incident change you or you're from the beginning it's like this? Who, who, who's uh, like how did you aspire about it like? I, I feel like um, everyone's got um, challenges and in incidences and experiences that happen all along. It's not just one person experiences something and the rest of the people don't even know what it is about. Everybody knows what is certain experiences. Maybe they don't get to experience it in a particular way, but they have their own challenges and their own lessons in life. And using all the challenges and not looking at it as, oh my God, this is going to drag me down. Using it as a fantastic um, source of rising above it kind of changes you. It's like you peel so many layers of yourself and then you rise above it. And through every challenge that you face, you are a new person. And somehow when you look back and you're like, you're not mad at anybody, you're not, there is no anger, there is, there is nothing, there is only pure love. And only when you look back and you just say, wow, you know what, you have contributed to this. Because if I wasn't put through the challenge, without a challenge, nobody becomes sharp. Without, a, without playing a game, your mind doesn't become sharp. You can't just sit and wait for the answers to come to you. Well, the answers do come to you, but then there is some sort of an action from your end. That is you letting go. And that is you just loving and looking beyond you. Things, yeah, in other way, yeah. <laughs> looking beyond you, let's put it that way. You know, you. your childhood, I want to know, what were you in your childhood like? Did you have a, a, like, I want to become this, or I want to take up this? Oh, this is what my parents said. Or, no, this is my dream. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything like that? So as a child, I was more of a tomboy. I had no toys. Uh, I lived in a big family. Not because they didn't buy any toys. or I don't even know what it is. But for me, it was always the roads. I would climb the walls. I would climb the trees. I would play on the roads. I don't remember having toys at all as a kid. Oh. And I think that's one of the greatest gifts for me. Because I was not a cust I was not... Uh, used to you know just being inside the four walls I'm I've always been used to being outside in the nature adventurous adventurous all the time mm -hmm. with a lot of scars and falling down and I would never go back to my mom and tell her I got hurt I would figure out a way to handle it because even then I knew okay that's so, you because, was fallen nobody pushed you exactly and right? imagine if she says don't go out yeah. that's something that I don't want so I'd be like okay mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go you know wash up and be ready for the next day so my childhood was very raw and very outside and pretty much on the road you know you would find me as a kid I was only on the road outside the wall I would never take the gate I would only climb the wall it was the thing for me I know so full of energy always full of energy mm. because I loved it I, I've always loved every single day in my own little ways many kids you know mm -hmm. telling I missed my childhood childhood I mean yes. not kids when they grow mm -hmm. up yeah they say this, it really pains me a lot. Yes. You no, know, I didn't I didn't have a good childhood or I didn't have I had a stressful childhood. So I think, you know, every child should think like you. Mm -hmm. Just grab what you have in in front of you and be happy with it and try to make more happy. Yeah. Right? It's like like even <coughs> toys, every child will like a toy. Mm -hmm. 
you never missed it and no. you, you, mm -hmm. you never thought that, oh, you should play only with toys. Mm -hmm. You had walls, you had trees. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> Literally. Right? I think Literally. you love nature and nature made you this way, I guess. Perhaps. Right? <laughs> Perhaps. I think it all comes with the experience. And of course, see, there are a lot of people who have had, maybe they've had tough childhood, yes. But everything, see, when you grow up, with a tough childhood that if somebody has had a tough childhood when they grow up there is definitely some sort of a subconscious program that's embedded in them you know they have been told you can do this you cannot do this so that's embedded in them but they always have a choice to grow out of it as an adult you understand this is how i was as a child and probably this is something that i didn't really enjoy then as an adult understand your powers understand that you have the power to be a child now you know without ha shed your inhibition about True. what are, uh, what what's someone going to say? Put on music and dance. Something as simple as that. As simple as that. And it doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful True. or True. Uh, you know impress somebody. You dance. You're like moving your spirit. Movement is literally medicine. You know when you're able to move, you should be grateful. And I think you should be grateful to your parents as well. Absolutely. Because they gave you this kind of uh, what do you say? A freedom. One hundred percent. You know freedom. One hundred percent. Yes. What your father is uh, uh, was strict or your mother was strict or. Who gave you this much of liberation like? To be really honest, both of them were not strict. I think it's very easy for people to tell with the way I lived, they were not. But um, something so beautiful is, um, so my dad is up there right now, is my guardian angel right now. Oh, okay. And um, he, I remember when I would come back from school and I would tell him, uh, Dada, this happened in school. And you know, that we all have our own little ways of taking things up to the father and telling him, okay, you know what, this went wrong, that went wrong. And his only thing would be, so what? So what? So what? Wow. If you can be good, then be good. He says, you be good. Just because they did it, doesn't mean you have to do it. This was one of his biggest lessons. And of course, that became much stronger and louder in my head after he left. But until then, every time I took up something to him, it was a so what? So what was literally his response. A for real much mentor everything. for you, right? Absolutely. I mean... With that, I, that like I, I was talking about the subconscious, um, you know, imprint, like samskara, like in my head, anything that happens, I'll be like, okay, so what? What is it that I can do? So what? Not in the way of, so what? I don't care. Yeah. So what? Okay, so what? Oh, this happened to me. Okay. So what? So what? So plan what is B. it that I can do to yeah. make it better? That's what. What is it? What is that one thing that I can do to make, change the way I feel right now? And if I could train myself, if I could practice, making myself and others around me feel better just for this one moment, then that becomes my habit, that becomes my day, that becomes my week, it becomes a life. Very, Everything goes by the moment, really. Very well said. <laughs> you were very young when you lost your father? Yes, I was 18. Mm -hmm. And I was so close and to him. That was the time, you know, uh, fathers are very special yes. to every child. Yes. Uh, daughters, they, especially. <laughs> especially for daughters. Yes. I want to ask you one more thing. Mm -hmm. This law of attraction, mm -hmm. You know, because I, I, I read that once in mm -hmm. your Instagram. Mm -hmm. This law of attraction, does that really matter? Like, is that important for people like you or me or the younger generation? Mm -hmm. Law of attraction is, uh, is not just something that matters or not just something that's important. It is what we are living. Like, you are here because of everything that you have attracted subconsciously in your subconsciously. mind. Subconsciously. Absolutely. So you have told yourself over a period of time that this is the life that not even something that you want, but this is this is your life. And that life has become you, you know? So you embody that um, uh, that very thing that you're looking at saying I want it, instead of saying I want it, you embody it as if that is who you are. And then that just becomes you. That is as simple as that. That's law of attraction. But of course, there would be a lot of contradiction. People might ask, then I've been asking for this, but then it hasn't happened. It's a law. It doesn't happen based on your rule. It happens based on exactly how it's meant to be. So the more you say, I'm after this, I'm, I've been running after this for so long, but it hasn't happened. You don't run after anything because the more you run, the more you attract running. Yeah. So the more you run, so it's like a cycle that you're trapped in. The more you wait, the more you're waiting. But if you embody it as if it is you, if you, if you could take a moment every single day, not just a moment, like a few minutes a day, to visualize different areas of your life. What you want. 
Not even about what you want. That's what mm. I'm saying. Scratch what you want. The moment you say you want it, that means you don't have it. Oh, okay. The idea is saying, I have this, okay? And I will tap into it when I'm ready for it. But I have it. Most people who have made it right from the scratch to, you know, right on top, are the ones who have believed that they already are what it is that they wish to be instead of I want it. Because only a child that does not have a toy will say, I want a toy. But if the child feels like the child has everything, then the toy doesn't become something that's on the pedestal. It's just another thing that's a part of the child's life. The craving doesn't come. There is no craving because you are it. It is there. It is there in abundance. How, how did you think of becoming... Uh, uh, I'm not asking you when did you become a, a model or... <laughs> I mean, what made you feel that you should be in this field? Because I think you are you don't belong to uh, any any side, camera side or your family or mm -hmm. anybody, right? You mm, were yes. all uh, quite uh, an education line and stuff like that. Right. But who, what made you think that you should be, you know, uh, uh, I think in the limelight? Right. I think it's... Um to go, going back to law of attraction, mm -hmm. I've always been, uh, I mean, nobody from my family, I, don't, I didn't even know a model back then, right? But I was at some, um, I was at some exhibition, I was just doing my part-time job when I was in college, when, you know Shobha, uh, Shobha and Vidya? Oh yeah, Vibha, yeah, yeah, yeah. They came up to me and they said, hi, would you like to be a model? Ooh. And I was like, wow, someone's asking me if I can be a model? I mean. I wanted to say yes, but I was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe You're I'll a perfect you. person for being a model, actually. <laughs> oh my God, thank you very much. But yeah. I really didn't, I didn't think of going there. I didn't put any effort of trying to be something. In my head, a couple of times when people tell me, hey, you could be a good model, you know, we always think like, how would it be to, how would it feel to be a model? I mean, obviously I had no guidance, to be really honest. I had nobody telling me what I should do. Do it all, Because yeah. for somebody who doesn't know how to become, it's a blank paper. You don't even know where to begin. But she spotted me and she came to me. And you accepted it? I accepted it. I said, I said, I'll come and meet you. She wanted me to take part in Miss Chennai, which I never did. I was very adamant. Right. I think with me and uh, Eddie. I'm Bish, sure I you would have won. You would have gone somewhere, right? <laughs> well, I'm very happy where I am at the moment, honestly. Yeah. But um, any, any of the beauty competition or beauty pageant somehow didn't resonate with me. I felt like... If I could be a model, I'd like to be a model without any competition. I, I think competitions. Okay. Gen, gen, competitions are great. It's amazing because it can take people to when they have a goal. Higher level. To be really yeah. honest, I didn't exactly have a goal. For me, it was about enjoying what came my way. So, and then she understood that I didn't want to two years. And then she said, okay, no problem. You know what? Just join our Try thing it. and yeah. just, you know, ramp walk. And then. So, Pradhani, mm -hmm. according to you, mm -hmm. what is about... Living in the moment, living in a moment. Living in the moment. Okay, that's a beautiful question. Thank you. <laughs> I think that is something that I consciously try to talk about as much as I can. Uh, living in the moment it doesn't mean you forget everything that's happening and say, oh, this is my bubble and I'm going to live here. Living in the moment is truly understanding how you feel right now. <laughs> what is the purpose of your life towards yourself or mm -hmm. towards others? To put it in a simple way, I think it's got to do with uh, spreading the word of staying in the moment. Staying in the moment. Absolutely, because I, as simple as it seems, it really isn't for most people and that is something for most of us, for all of us actually, we always strive to make it better and it's about understanding things that are beyond your understanding capacity. To letting people understand that you can't understand everything but you have to understand even that which you don't understand, which means you only rely in your inner power and have faith. That allows you to stay in the moment and in the moment you feel whole and not just, I wish I was doing this, I wish I was doing that. No, I'm whole in the moment. I feel amazing to be here right now, regardless of the pain, regardless of the hurt. To be really honest, over a period of time, all this is nothing. Pain, hurt is nothing because see, you know, you were asking me what happens when you're close to somebody and a person behaves in a certain way, you are hurt. Yes, you are hurt, but you need to take that as a lesson that you have learned. That person is here to teach you a lesson and you have learned that lesson. If the person's still a part of you, then the person's done teaching you that lesson and then you'll continue that bond of the journey. Some people leave, some people stay. We don't get to decide that and it's perfectly okay the way it is going because when there is resistance, towards something that you are trying really hard to achieve, then you must ask yourself, what is it that's happening here? 
Is do you this, do you do you blame fate for this? Like do never. you believe in word called fate? See, there is you know fate, karma, everything is a part of it. But when you look at something as fate, very sadly, the word fate comes around a little negative. You know, people usually say fate. Weak people. Only, yes. Speak about yes. fate. Yes, that's oh, what, what to do. Saying. This is my fate. That's what happens. My fate, it has to happen. Exactly. Vidhiyai madhyal velalam. Yes. They say in Tamil. Absolutely, yes. Right? That's so true. Because you are, your intelligence is beyond everything that's happening here. It is so easy for you to succumb to that little thing that's happening to you and say, oh my God, this is my fate. Usually people say, use the word fate only when something goes wrong. You would have noticed it. Otherwise, yes. it's a blessing. It's yes. a blessing. If something goes wrong, it's so fate. if it is in favor of you, it's a blessing. It's a if it isn't, then it's just fate it's as fate. it is. But then you don't get to see what is happening to you, even if you don't like it, is happening in your favor. And if you start thinking of that, then all the hurt and pain, disappointments, everything becomes minimal. Matter of fact. Yeah, it's like not even ma matter of fact of yeah. you accepting. Yes, that's. It becomes so minimal. It's not even much. Not even much. Doesn't you're matter. You're okay. I can still love you because you matter to me. Because there are people in a family, they have a lot of, see, if you're, if you're, if you have, a, if it's with a person who you have had a relationship or, or the relationship on the outside, sometimes it's a blessing to part ways. But sometimes you are within that same circle and you are where you are. How do you deal in a situation like that? You do it with love. You speak as much as you can. Use your tool. Communication. Communication seems to, seems to solve pretty much Everything. Communication, yes, that's a very beautiful, uh, you know, word we must, uh, uh, I mean, everyone should uh, realize about it. Because every second is fortunate for yes. all of us. Yes, Because we don't know next minute what happens. Absolutely. We don't know when you step out of the house, whether mm -hmm. you're coming back home. Absolutely. Because one second can change your fate. Yes, yes. So we should, we all should be really, uh, you know, fortunate enough and grateful to God. Yes. That we are existing, mm -hmm. hale and healthy, Absolutely. and we are able to move forward, mm -hmm. right? And true, very true, because yeah. uh, uh, as you said, the bonds, you know, the relationship where it cuts off. Sometimes, too, though we think that it's okay, I still love you, or I, I still, still be with you. You know, in our own families, you know, every 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 family has got their own hurdles. Mm -hmm. right? So every family, every bond, every human beings, they're all facing today mm -hmm. these kind of situations mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, uh, communication gap, mm -hmm. conveying is gone, mm -hmm. express, expressing is gone, yes. especially with the, the digital thing, you know, your blocks and yes. your, your mechanical life mm -hmm. you're leading, like your... Sometimes I feel that you have to sit and communicate, like, Absolutely. you know, we should stop being on uh, just messages, you can with m many, mm -hmm. but for few who really matter a lot for you, you know, I feel you should it's be nice in touch. to take that time. Nice to take at least, you know, uh, once in a way yes. to chat with them or talk with them or convey what you feel, mm -hmm. what you felt about them, even if you had hurt, yes. you know, clear it. Yes. And even if they hurted you some way, I think it's better to call and ask why yes. did you do this so true. instead of having a vacuum so between two hearts absolutely you know between two people like this is what you did this is what it, you know i think the world is going somewhere mm -hmm. so if everyone think of like this mm -hmm. what you say mm -hmm. what you said just mm -hmm. now i think the world will really become very beautiful i think right? it's it's in their journey and everybody would learn this over a period of time that also effective communication is if A has a problem with B, then A must somehow perk up the courage to talk to B. Yes. Somehow A, it's so easy for A to speak to C, D, E, F about the problem with B. Goes on. But that doesn't, if you have a problem with somebody, speak to that speak person. Speak to that, that person. Communication is exactly. What it, it's so easy for this person to speak to everybody else. You know, hey, this person did this to me. It's so easy to talk. But then you are, re what happens at that point? is everybody is collectively giving you their own ideas or what you're growing this different brains all are different yeah. brains you're growing this beyond necessary it's not needed you speak to that person and you you don't owe anybody any explanations for the decisions that you make in life other than the people immediately involved but again this this kind of expressing this kind of uh, uh, breaking the communication gap or breaking the ice or whatever 
it will work with someone who reciprocates you or Correct. understands you you know but it doesn't happen to a narrow minded people yes it doesn't mm-hmm. happen to some people who are made that way yes which the loss is theirs mm-hmm. not ours absolutely right yes so i do believe in this mm-hmm. like you know i sometimes uh, i i have a few uh, uh, bad experiences like this mm-hmm. i try to communicate i try, i try to tell there are few who understood mm-hmm. me and you know came back to me with yeah. tightest hug but there are few people who just say that this is me yes and, and so i just is. don't i i question <laughs> myself why are they like this what are they gaining in this world mm-hmm. you know they're only losing mm-hmm. losing youth losing time right losing time mm-hmm. time is very short yes life is very short for it's them. limited for really very actually, limited yeah. and pradayani you're so beautiful thank in and out thank you very much thank you so much thank you very love you very loads much. love you loads thank you very much thank you so much yes 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 thank you yes mm-hmm. thank you for having me here. yes so lovely thank mm-hmm. you all so much <laughs> i'm sure you love this episode of beyond you so please like share and subscribe without fail see you in the next episode beyond you